Not long ago, I made a video about the then new Boofwang UV5R Mini, a handheld hams radios walkie-talkie that I proclaimed to be the world's smallest unlocked hams radios. And now, thanks to my friends at the Radio Wadidi Corporation of Japan, I am here to introduce you to the new Boofwang UV5G Mini that I proclaim to be the world's smallest handheld GMRS HT walkie-talkie radio. The cost for the new world's smallest handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio is $25 of monies. But there is a catch. And that catch is that this radio is only sold in a two-pack. So you have to pay 49 monies and then you get two of them. But if you are able to figure out the math, that works out to only about 25 monies each. Of course, that price is as of today. So if you are watching this video tomorrow, the price could be different. But if you are watching this video yesterday, you might get a better deal. And for your clicking and purchasing pleasure, I will put an affiliate link to the two-pack of the world's smallest handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio in the more information section of this video below. And yes, my friends at the Radio Wadidi Corporation of Japan did send me this Boofwang UV5G Mini handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio at no cost so that I could share it with you, my favorite viewer. So when you purchase the two-pack of Boofwang UV5G Mini handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radios in the box, you will receive two of everything, except for the user manual. But because I know that you think your time is very valuable, and because I understand that you have a lot of important TikTok videos to watch and a lot of Facebook posts to get enraged about, I will only show you one of everything. Anyway, in the box, you will receive a user manual, only one, not two, and one mistake I see right off the ball is that the user manual says amateur radio. But my friend, verily I say unto you that this is not an amateur radio. This is a GMRS radio. The user manual also claims that the radio has a mysterious frequency hopping function, something that on a GMRS radio would violate FCC rules. But then the manual doesn't mention that mysterious feature anywhere else. But fear not, because now that these failures have been exposed, I am certain that the individual responsible for these heinous mistakes will be swiftly sent to an undisclosed location to be severely re-educated. But other than those mistakes, the manual achieves what it sets out to do. It is 25 pages long and written in above average Chinglish, and it goes over all of the functions of the radio. However, the manual will not teach you what GMRS is or what the functions mean, nor should it. You will receive a belt clip. One end slides into the back of the radio. The other end you can use to affix to your belt so that you can impress the chicks as you walk around the mall with your new mini radio. You will receive this very handsome and very long body strap. One end affixes to the radio. The other end you can very tightly wrap around whatever part of your body that you choose. You will receive a USB charging cable. On one end, you'll find a USB-A's plug, and on the other end, you'll find a USB-C's plug. The USB-C's plug goes into the USB-C's hole of the radio, and you plug the USB-A hole, A hole, into one of the many USB-A chargers that you probably already have laying around your house. You will receive a small antenna. You will receive a small battery that holds 1,600 milliamp hours of electricities, and you will receive the Boofwang UV 5G Mini Handheld HT GMRS Walkie Talkie Radio. On the top of the radio, you will find an on, off, and volume control knob, an LED transmit and receive indicator, a very bright LED flashlight, as well as a hole for connecting the antenna, and that is a standard SMA male hole, and the antenna has a standard SMA female hole. 
and they go together like this. On one side of the radio, you will find two push-to-talk triggers, as well as a programmable button. On this side of the radio and behind this magic door, you will find small holes for a programming cable or accessories, such as a hand mic. And on the front of the radio, you will find a small keypad with small buttons, perfect for all of us with svelte fingers and sexy hands. But if you are some kind of sausage-fingered fatty, then this radio is probably not for you. You will find a color screen as well as a couple of control buttons. Now allow me to share with you the key points of this radio right here, right now, right up front, instead of dragging it out and making you wait until the end of the video, like all of those lesser YouTube channels always seem to do. As you probably already figured out from the name, the biggest feature of this radio is that it is not big. In other words, this radio is small. This radio is smaller than the TDH3 and even smaller than the original Bufwang UV5R. But just in case you don't have a Bufwang UV5R or a TID radio TDH3 to judge the size, allow me to use a standard unit of measurement such as this universally known symbol of government overreach and power-hungry corruption to give you a proper sense of scale so that you can get an idea of exactly how small this radio is and how fucked up this was. And I should also point out and make very clear that this is a GMRS radio, not a hams radios like the regular UV5R Mini. If you do not understand what that means... Allow me to explain. The regular Bufwang UV5R Mini is a hams radios. This radio, the UV5G Mini, is not a hams radios. It is a GMRS radio. So I hope that clears things up for you. And like any GMRS radio, the UV5G Mini can transmit only on the 22 GMRS channels and the GMRS repeater channels. However, this radio can also listen to commercial FM radio 136 to 174 my gigahertz, 350 to 390 my gigahertz, and 400 to 520 my gigahertz. This means that in addition to transmitting on the GMRS channels, you can also listen to some hams, radios, bands, AM, airband, LMR, and business frequencies, and the NOAA weather channels. And the radio has 999 memory channel slots so that you can store those frequencies as channels for quick and effortless access any time of day or night. This radio is not a super heterodyne type radio. This is an SOC or system on a chip type radio, also known as a homodyne. Homodyne type radio design. And if you don't know what that is, then good, because this means that you are normal. And this is something that as a normal person, you do not have to care about. All you need to worry about is that this radio costs 25 monies, and it can do virtually everything that a fancy super heterodyne radio costing hundreds of dollars of monies or more can do, and you will probably never hear any difference with your normal human ears. The radio has an updated and mostly intuitive and easy-to-use menu system, and as mentioned only a moment ago, the radio has dual pull-to-talk triggers. And this is because the radio can listen to two different channels at the same time. So the upper trigger, when pulled, will transmit on this upper channel, known by us radio experts as line A, and the lower trigger, when pulled, will transmit on line B, which is the lower channel. And to avoid any potential confoculation, the triggers are conveniently labeled A and B. However, if, like me, you are prone to confoculation, you can easily set the radio to listen to only one channel at a time. But if you do that, you will still always see both lines on the screen, and you will still always be able to transmit on both channels by pulling the A or B trigger. And like all GMRS radios, it comes pre-programmed with the standard 22 GMRS channels right out of the box. This means that you do not need to do any programming or configuration or anything to use this radio. You simply take it out of the box, turn it on, pick a channel, gently squeeze the talk trigger, and if you are a radio expert, such as myself, you can get fancy and do additional programming via your computer if you purchase a programming cable, or you can program the radio on your phone wirelessly via the Bluetooth and the free app, 
which requires a login before it lets you do anything. So fuck you, Bufoing. The Amazon page also says you can use the free Chirp software to program the radio, but according to the Chirp compatibility page on the Chirp website, you cannot use Chirp to program this radio yet. Or you can use the free Bufwang programming software, which you can download from the Bufwang website. It is very basic and very simple, but it gets the job done. But all of that is optional because you can do virtually all of that fancy stuff the way Xenu intended, like a man, right on the keypad. The screen on the radio does fairly well in bright, direct sunlight, but unfortunately I cannot show you that because it has been raining here for the last two days. But I assure you that it performs just like the screen on the Hams Radio's version of this radio, the UV5R Mini. What I'm saying to you right now is that the screen is not the best in bright, direct sunlight, and for only $25 of monies, you shouldn't complain. And the radio has an IP54 rating, making it water resistant. This means that you can use it in the rain, but you definitely should not play with it in the bathtub. The radio has a frequency scanner option, which is very useful when your stupid friend that always gets on your nerves shows up with his no-name piece of junk radio that costs five times more money than this did, but the radio doesn't ever show anywhere what frequency it uses or what subtones, if any, it's using. So when your stupid irritating friend shows up, just put the UV5G Mini within about 50 feet or so of your idiot friend's radio and tell him to pull the pull to talk trigger on his radio, and after a second or so, the UV5G Mini will tell you what frequency the radio is using along with any tones. Thusly. The only drawback to this is that now you'll have to listen to him brag about his stupid Lego collection all day long. And yes, of course, as with all high-end quality radios, this radio does have a Roger beep. And even though the RF electricity's power output on a radio is not the most important factor in how many FARs a radio gives, and just in case you're wondering, it's the antenna and your location that impacts the FARs of your radio more than the RF electricity's output, but the user manual says that this radio outputs 5 watts of RF electricities, and because some people think it actually matters, I will test it anyway. And as you can see with your very own ocular sauce packets on GMRS channel 16, this radio is outputting just slightly under 5 watts of RF electricities. And yes, just like virtually every handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio that I have ever tested, using this small radio with this small antenna that came with it, I was able to talk to my friend Conrad, the chef, who was using his base station radio with a large antenna on his roof at his house 13 miles away, no repeater, direct radio to radio, or simplex, as us radio experts call it, and he was able to hear me loud and clear. So if you are looking for a small, no. If you are looking for the smallest, lightweight, full-featured, FCC-approved and sanctioned handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio for use whilst adventuring outside or for making contacts with anonymous men whilst sitting on your couch or in your basement, then this radio might just be the radio for you.